Hi, welcome to Blind Owl Outdoors. Alright, I'm back. Now, you're going to use this knot. This is a clove hitch under tension. You can also use this for your ridge line for different things. Um, so, say I'm going from one tree across my camp to another tree here. Alright. Get out of the way here a little bit. What you're going to do, you're going to go around your tree or your post or whatever you're going to use. Okay. And then to tie a clove hitch, I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull all the tension I can get on this very tight. Then to tie a clove hitch, I'm just going to cross this rope right here like that. Okay. I'm going to come around the other side. And to make a clove hitch, a true clove hitch, I would have to go underneath this piece right here to make it a, a clove hitch. To do that, I have to take pressure off and I lose all my tension. So what you do is push right here where the two ropes cross. Push real nice and hard. Give yourself a little bit of slack, okay? Then you're going to take your end of your cord, your cordage, and go right underneath this loop here, okay? Right underneath that loop there. Then you're gonna take this piece here you just had here, go across just like you do your normal clove hitch. You're gonna go right across here like this, okay? And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put my thumb right here, all right? Then all you're gonna do is take the slack out of this loop here, get this loop out of here, Pull it down in there. And now you still have your perfect clove hitch. You still have all your tension. It's a pretty good knot. Let me try it again for you. I like the trucker hitch much better because it's easier to untie. Okay, undo it. Okay, you're going to take your rope from across the camp, go around your tree, stand it out here, get, get your slack out however tight you want it, I want it real tight, and then I'm going to cross the, the rope here, this is going to make it a clove hitch, I'm going to come around the, the tree, And if I wanted to make a regular clove hitch, I'd have to go underneath this rope here, but I can't because I'll lose all my tension. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to push right here where they cross, squeeze that a little bit, take the pressure off this one here, and then I'm just going to run the, the tag end of my rope through this, all the way through it like that, okay? And then I'm just going to grab this rope like I'd have it before and pull it around the top for the proper clove hitch here. Work it around. Now I'm just going to, right where, this, where the rope comes or anything, I'm just going to pinch it right here just so that there's no loss of um, tension. And I'm just going to pull this down through here like that. And there you go. You can hear it just like a, just like a guitar string. It doesn't get any tighter than that. The only nice thing about, only that get tighter than that is a trucker's hitch because you're using a loop for a mechanical advantage. But that's a, that's a clove hitch under tension. Another valuable, very useful, uh, bushcrafty type knot. Um, that'd be a Boy Scout knot probably because you're using the clove hitch. Uh, personally, I don't use it much, but if I did know, need how, did need to use it, I know how, as you should too. So that's all I have for now. A nice short little rope video, not video. Please click like and subscribe. You can contact me anytime at blindowloutdoors at gmail.com. That's the email for uh, this channel, Blind Owl Bushcraft and Survival, and our other channel, Blind Owl 
outdoors, where, where there's also hundreds of bushcraft and thousands of videos on the simple life in the Philippines. So uh, everybody have a great day. Please come back, share the videos, whatever you want to do. Take care.